Welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Master 2. I'm your host, Chaos, and last time we left off, we were about to go through... We're getting ready to go through the next door, to the next area to get our next clan key piece. Um, while I had the camera paused, I was... I trained up some of my characters, went and sold some stuff, and cleaned out the area in here a little bit, and I got pretty much everything set up here. Got the guys up to, uh, up some levels as far as wizard goes, practicing fireballs in the fireplace, and now we're ready on, ready to take on the next area. So, and easy way we can do this, oh, yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> After you teleport from the, uh, thief area, there's a thief in wandering around town, and it'll drop things either over there, or I've actually seen it drop things over over here where we found that dead bat in, at the beginning of the game. So we're just gonna take care of this thing and uh, be on our merry way. Get us a little more gold and another dagger. Yeah, which reminds me, I sold all those daggers and I sold the scythe too, so because we don't need them anymore. Maybe I'll keep this dagger just in case. In case we get another thief steal my sword, I can pull out the dagger and use it. Alright, collect that gold, put the gold away, and then we'll teleport over back to the thief area, and we can move on to the next area. Teleport. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, since every time we leave this area, uh, another thief spawns, so we're going to take care of this one too, so we don't have to deal with it. Haha, ah. Ah, you didn't get away with it. Alright, we got some more gold. We got another dagger, which we'll probably end up selling. Alright, and now on to the moon door. Pull out the moon key, put it in the lock, open the door, and there we go. We're on to the next area. Oh, yeah, and we also got a new map out of the last one. This is the Scout Minion map. It's pretty much the same as the other map as far as these, but it also has this little uh, thing right here, which is really useful. This is our friend. It's a scout minion. Click right here on the map, and the scout minion will go and follow, go over to where it is. And we can use this to scout ahead, and as you can see, there's an enemy over here, and I can already tell you what it is. It's another one of our annoying little friends. However, our scout minion can also get killed, so, uh... Uh, here he comes. There's two of them in this area. And they'll actually double-team you if you're not careful. And they can also come through the, uh... Tree arches, unlike most creatures. Most creatures can't pass through, pass through the tree arches and leave their area. Except for the thieves. And the glops, actually, now that I, come, now that I think about it. Because they did that earlier at the beginning of the game. Just take care of this guy. Get him to come after us. Oh, he's running. He's almost dead. Let me just take care of him. Ah. Come on. Let me stop messing. Got him. Now we gotta take care of this other one before he. Oh, fireball. Ugh. Ouch. Yeah, I realize you can't see what I'm doing here, but I don't have the time to, uh, cast a light. There we go. Hey, Bane just gave another wizard level. That's good. Hey, he's pulling out his little dagger that we pick up. Those are the daggers we pick up when we kill these guys. Why they have two of them, I don't know, but... <sighs> and... Probably could let them steal it just so I could follow them to their little hideout, but I already know where it is, so I'll just show you it. And get on with it. In contrast to the uh, first area that we met these things, their hideout is near the beginning. And there's more bigger worms here, too. We can just take care of this. Uh, we'll give Bane the food. And, of course, in the Thieves' drop area, there's another shield. This is the Ra Sar Shield, or the Light Dark Shield. 
In Bane's hands, it doesn't do much of anything right now, because he doesn't have very high magic skill, but later on it can actually cast a spell too. Or I could give it to Saros and show you what the spell is, but uh, we're going to keep moving, and I'll just show it later. Oh yeah, and cast some more light spells while we're at it, so you can see what I'm doing. There we go, that's better. Take care of those, give Bane's those worm rounds. Alright, and yeah, what I said about these things, I was completely wrong. I, d I because notice that the sun is pointing off in that direction, which is where we're going, so I don't know. I've, n I've never known what those things are for. I just took a wild guess. Oh yeah, here's another teleport pad, and here is the cloud key, or the cloud door and key hole. And this little tree arch over here is the next area we gotta go in. And here is probably the air the area outside that you're going to be visiting the most. Oh, there's another digger worm. We're going to go take care of that so it doesn't attack us from behind. Or not. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Huh. Where he came from. Take care of him. There we go. Got rid of him. Alright. Pick up those worm rounds. Alright. This is probably the area outside the castle you're going to be visiting most, and you'll soon see why. The creatures in this area are just kind of like the thieves, only worse. They're those. The Axemen. See right there, he just tried to steal my weapon. They're like thieves, only more annoying because they have big giant axes that they will also throw at you, which is also what makes these guys so valuable and why you want to visit them, because if you have noticed back in, when we were in town, the axes sold for about an emerald and two gold apiece, which you can get a pretty much respawning supply right here. You just keep killing these things, then come back when, after they've respawned, kill them again, and they drop the axes every time they die. They also pick the axes up if you let them. Yeah, they didn't like me that. If they have extra, if they pick up an extra axe, they're more than likely to throw it at you though. So, come on, come on, you fat, ugly pizza. You fired me. Oh, damn! I'm gonna grab my bones. Grab the shield. We definitely need the tech shield. Grab the money box, because we don't want to lose that. Grab the boots. We're not going to actually run back yet, because even though Chaos is dead. Oh, they just threw another axe at us. We're going to uh, stick around here, because I'll show you another nifty spell, which will actually make this a lot easier, both with collecting axes and collecting my dead remains. Just need to take all this stuff and move it over here. And we're going to actually end up killing all these things, just A, to get the axes, and B, to get them out of the way. We really don't need to collect the daggers, but I'm going to keep them anyway. We can sell them. Every bit of money helps, even though you won't need it after you uh, visit this place enough. Ugh. I'm going to tell you right now, I actually honestly don't have this much trouble with these guys, usually. It's mostly just split focus. You know. Plus, every time I try to back out of this area, I have to reload it. Reload the song, especially. Right, so we're just gonna... That one's running, so he's probably... Uh, oh, jeez, that was close. Dead. Ow. Oh, that's right. Because of, uh... Het, since... Chaos is no longer there. Het got hit by the axe that time. And they just keep throwing them. And we keep collecting them. Uh, we'll toss them another... F throw something back at them. Come here. Hey, you want to throw your axe? I'll throw a fireball. Right, we're going to grab this, put it in our pile of stuff that we're going to keep. Get him. Uh, let's see. Get another fireball ready. So I was just gonna get another uh, fireball ready here. 
And he's dead. Take the dead body, throw it over there. Pick a 